Today, we'll show you how easy it is to create an incredibly beautiful finish on a wood-grained fiberglass door. With proper care and maintenance, it will be truly long-lasting and low-maintenance. We'll give you tips and easy-to-follow instructions as we go. Before we get started, there are a few things you should know and do. There are different settings where you can stain a door. If your door is already installed in the opening, you can finish the door while it is hanging on the hinges. However, you should remove all weather stripping so it does not touch any stain or top coat. This also allows the door to be shut and locked overnight if you need to continue finishing the project the next day. Remember to reapply weather stripping once all finished surfaces are completely dry. If you purchased a pre-hung door system, which means the door is attached to a freestanding door frame via the hinges, then you can remove the hinge pins, take the door off the hinges, and stain the door independently. If you have a non-removable hinge pin, then it is recommended to stain the door after it is installed in the opening. Whichever option you use, do not remove an already applied door bottom sweep, as this is considered a finished edge and does not require stain and top coat. Also, keep the hinge leaf screwed to the door. This will ensure the hinge leafs are securely fastened, as screws may not tighten properly if reinserted in previously used drill holes. In this video, we are featuring a pre-hung door taken off the hinges. Choose a clean, well-ventilated space and protect your floor with a drop cloth or similar covering. Attach two large stir sticks or pieces of scrap wood to the top of the door. This will allow you to lean the door against a wall and will act as a spacer allowing you to stain both sides without waiting for dry times. Next, thoroughly review the step-by-step same-day stain instructions and watch this video all the way through before getting started. Some important things to note are only stain when temperatures are between 50 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit and the humidity is below 80 percent. Be sure to finish all exposed edges and ends of your fiberglass door. Finish all wood surfaces exposed to weather within two weeks of receipt of the door. Do not stain or apply top coat when dew is present. Do not stain in direct sunlight. Always be sure you have plenty of fresh air and adequate ventilation. And close all containers when not in use. With these things in mind, you can begin your staining project. Your same day stain kit contains everything you'll need to successfully create the authentic finish of real wood. Included in the kit is a foam brush for stain, a pair of one size fits all gloves, a three inch natural brush for stain, a two inch synthetic brush for top coat, one staining rag, two cleaning rags, one four ounce bottle of mineral spirits, one 16 ounce can of stain, one 20 ounce can of top coat, two stir sticks, two fiberglass test samples, and your same day stain step by step instructions. Same day stain and top coat also carries a five year limited warranty. For warranty information, visit www.samedaystain.com and remember to read and follow the finishing instructions, even if you've used the stain kit in the past. Once you're sure you have everything needed, it's time to get started. We will now take you step by step through the correct application of same day stain on a fiberglass door. Before you begin staining, if there are any minor scratches, they can be removed or hidden by lightly buffing with a 3M Scotch Brite pad in the direction of the grain. For deeper scratches, fill with a wood crayon or fiberglass filler product from a hardware retailer. Sand lightly and manually etch complementing grain detail. For more information, refer to the troubleshooting section in your finishing instructions. To ensure clean sight lines, check for any gaps between the glass frame and glass. If needed, apply a clear sealant that is recommended for use with stain. This will prevent stain from seeping behind the glass frame. Scrape off excess sealant and allow sealant to cure. For more information, refer to the troubleshooting section in your finishing instructions. 
For a clean finishing line, check for any exposed glass sealing compound. Wet with window cleaner or water first, and then remove glazing along the glass frame with a sharp edge tool like a putty knife or razor blade. Then clean the entire surface of your door with mineral spirits using one of the kit's cleaning rags. It is also recommended to clean all glass surfaces with a standard glass cleaner. Next, prepare the door for staining by masking off all glass, hardware, and weather stripping features. Before applying the stain, it is important to stir the can of stain thoroughly because improperly mixed stain will not dry correctly. Now using the sample piece that best matches your unfinished door, it is time to stain and color test the sample. Using the staining rag or foam brush, work the stain into the surface in a circular or cross grain motion. Then even it out by wiping in the direction of the grain. Let the stain dry for 10 to 15 minutes. Then using a cleaning rag, wipe off excess stain in the direction of the grain to the shade you desire. For darker applications, allow the stain to dry, then apply additional coat or coats. Should you want to start over, the same day stain on your color test sample can easily be removed with mineral spirits for a redo. When you are finished, set your stained color test piece aside, along with the second unstained sample, as you'll need them both again later in steps four and five. Now it's time to apply the stain on your door using the staining rag or foam brush. For best results, use the application techniques we will show you in a moment. Only do one section at a time and in the following order. First, stain the glass frame if it applies. Then stain the deep grooves in the door panels using the tip of the foam brush. The interior panels. The interior flat sections. The exterior flat sections. And stain the door frame, wood door edges, brick mold, mullions, and astragals if it applies last. When applying stain in the deep grooves of the door panels, use the angled tip of the foam brush. This will allow you to achieve the desired shade of stain in the panel grooves and will reduce pooling in the corners. Also remember when applying stain with a staining rag or foam brush, always work the stain into the grain in a circular or cross grain motion. Then continue to use the staining rag or foam brush to even out the color by wiping the stain in the direction of the grain, removing any swirl marks. Allow stain to dry for 10 to 15 minutes. Then using one of the cleaning rags, wipe excess stain in the direction of the grain to the shade you desired. For darker applications, allow the stain to dry for two to four hours. Then apply an additional coat or coats for desired appearance. To ensure an even application, Use the three inch natural brush to blend all staining areas with special attention given to the deep grooves and corners of the panels. Periodically tug on the bristles with a rag to clean the brush and remove loose bristles. Do not use the three inch natural brush to remove excess stain as the stain will dry too quickly and gum up the brush. If you do get excess stain on the brush while blending, wipe the brush on a cleaning rag dampened with mineral spirits to remove stain buildup. Next, wipe the brush on a dry rag to ensure there is no excess mineral spirits remaining in the brush, as it could remove stain from the door. Now, along with a helper, carefully turn the door over and then repeat steps one through three for staining. As soon as you have finished staining the second side of the door, Put a coat of stain on the remaining unstained test sample, which will be used later as a test for dryness. After approximately six hours, test the second sample piece to determine if your stain is now completely dry and ready for the top coat. If it is dry, then both sides of the door will be ready too. To test for dryness, place a piece of masking tape on the second test sample. Rub the tape down firmly, 
then remove it. When the tape can be removed without taking any of the stain off the sample, the stain is dry and ready for top coat. If it is not ready, test it every hour until it is dry. As with the stain, be sure to thoroughly stir the can of top coat before applying. Cans should always be stirred, not shaken, to prevent creating small bubbles in the top coat that can lead to an improper application and finish. At this time, you should practice first by applying test top coats to both sample pieces using the 2 inch synthetic brush. Remember to periodically tug on the brush with a clean rag to remove loose bristles. Also, don't saturate your brush with top coat. Lightly wet the brush tips for better and more even flow. When you are ready, using the 2 inch synthetic brush, apply a very thin first layer of top coat on the door. Work in the same order that you applied the stain in step 2. Take care not to overload the brush as it creates thick areas in the grooves and corners. And don't worry if the top coat appears milky when it goes on, as it will turn completely clear as it dries. Just be sure to even out any thick areas as you go. When you are finished with side 1, and again with a helper, carefully turn the door over. You can repeat the top coating steps on side 2 without waiting for side 1 to dry. When finished, clean your brush thoroughly with cold water and wait 2 to 3 hours for the first coat to dry. At this time, you should practice putting a second layer of top coat on the two sample pieces. When ready, apply a second thin layer of top coat on both sides of the door using the 2 inch synthetic brush. Surfaces should now look wet but not milky. And when you are finished again, clean your brush thoroughly with cold water. It is extremely important to apply top coat in a smooth and even motion. Excessive brush strokes will cause the top coat to bubble or loosen the stain. Should this happen, wait about 30 minutes until the top coat is dry. Gently wipe away any flawed top coat with a dry cleaning rag. Then touch up with a thin layer of fresh top coat. After the door is completely dry, remove the two scrap wood pieces from the top. Then carefully finish the top edge by applying a layer of top coat. Or, if desired, apply both stain and top coat following the previously prescribed instructions. Now you've completed staining your fiberglass door. And once installed, you will have years of natural wood beauty and elegance without all the troublesome yearly headaches and maintenance of traditional wood doors. Same day stain and top coat also carries a five year limited warranty. For more information on our warranty, visit www.samedaystain.com and remember to save your color test sample in a cool, dry place away from light. Then compare it periodically to your fiberglass door. This will help you decide if and when it's time to refinish, typically after three to five years, because all exterior finishes are affected by exposure to sun, weathering, moisture, and air pollutants. When the gloss has decreased or the top coat feels rough, then it is time to refresh the surface with same day stain top coat to look just like new. However, do not use top coat that is more than three years old and do not use top coat that has been frozen. Premium Classic Craft and Original Fiber Classic, a dramatic opening statement. Same day stain and top coat, specially formulated for fiberglass entry and patio doors from Thermatru, the leading entry door brand builders and remodelers prefer most. <laughs>